this is Jennifer from The Good Life. Welcome to my channel and part four of our stocking tutorial. Um, in this tutorial, we'll be working on most of the uh, airplane on the stocking. So that'll be kind of fun. Um, if you enjoy my channel, please like and subscribe. I enjoy um, getting bunches of comments from you guys and I love answering all your questions that you have. So stay tuned and keep watching. So to start off this plane, we're gonna, we're gonna work on the back tail. Um, number 21, I already went ahead and beaded and sequined it, and then uh, number 22. This is gonna go on top of this piece, and then these two are gonna go here. Here's number 21 and 22 pieces put together, and there is a dotted line here, so make sure that you line those up. Um, when you put it on the piece, those dotted lines line up with the actual body of the airplane. So we're going to uh, applique that piece to the stocking. Here's the piece, appliqued and finished. Um, next we're going to work on the wheel right here, number 23. So the wheel has two parts, number 23 is this red one and then 24 is the burgundy. And as you can see, once you get the hang of sequining and beading these pieces, they actually become kind of second nature. So they're actually really quick once you get, the use, get used to it. So we're going to uh, applique the 24 onto 23 and then the wheel onto the stocking. So this part of the instructions is a little different than what I'm used to. Um, I read it and I was taken aback because I've never used poster board in a stocking before, but it calls for poster board. And what you need to do is um, cut out the body of the plane. And I already embroidered and sequined and everything for the plane. But then in the instructions it says to get a piece of a poster board and trim the poster board to the shape of the body and then trim it down so that we can actually stick it in between the stocking front and the piece. So, you're going to need to get some poster board. I kind of wish that they would have um, added that into the instructions beforehand so I knew to get poster board. Luckily, it's you know pretty cheap. You can get poster board anywhere. I think I got, I went to Walmart and I got a piece of poster board for like a dollar. So you'll need to cut out this piece, which is piece number 25, and then take some poster board and cut out um, the exact same piece, um, and then you'll have to trim it down. So I got it to about here, so it fits in between the, the dotted lines, and then that way you'll be able to embroider around it without hitting any poster board. So that's what I'm going to do next. Um, so when you cut this piece out, make sure that you do all of the embroidery first and the beading first before you decide to applique it because you need this piece. So. Fun fact for this stocking, you're going to need to get some poster board. Okay, so it took a little maneuvering. Um, I just wanted to show you how I approached this since this is my first time working with poster board on the stockings. Um, so there, the poster board is actually in between the green and the blue. And what I did was I ended up pinning the cardboard to the felt. Um, just to keep it in place and then um, I put the green piece on and went around and secured it around. Um, when you're stuffing this, I suggest stuff it, keep this side open to stuff. Make sure that the uh, stuffing is on top of the poster board when you stuff it and not behind the poster board so that it'll um, give the illusion of a um, sturdy airplane. So um, I'm going to go ahead and start appliquing right about here and I'll applique all the way around and then I'll just leave the tail open, stuff it, and then close it and then I'll show you what it looks like after that. So <laughs> I noticed that I did not do this little section of beading so I just went ahead and did it real quick. That's what happens when you bead at like midnight. <laughs> anyway, I'm glad I caught it when I did. Um, so I started my applique right here. And I went all the way around and I just took out the um, pins as I went and I stopped right about here 
and that's where I'm gonna actually take these pins out and stuff the entire plane and then I'm going to applique it closed and then um, we will go from there. So here is the airplane completely uh, appliqued and stuffed onto the stocking and it was a little tricky trying to get the stuffing in here but um, I managed to get it nice and snug and it's not overstuffed, which is important. You don't want to overstuff, but you definitely don't want to understuff. So we are going to work on number 26 stripe next. So here's piece number 26 cut out and already beaded and sequined. And um, all you need to do is just applique it. And then we're going to work on this second tail pin. So here's piece 27 and 28. And um, we're going to actually applique these two pieces together first. Um, and then we're going to bead and sequin it, and then we're going to use this as a template to cut out another piece of poster board. And I already went ahead and did that. Uh, make sure that the piece is smaller so that it fits inside and you can applique all the way around. And then um, I will show you what that looks like on the stocking. Alright, so here are the two pieces applique together and um, this is the beads and, and sequins added onto the piece. I used a pin to pin the poster board to the stocking like I did with this piece um, just to kind of keep it secure and then I'm probably going to pin maybe like the top right here so it doesn't move and then applique it all the way around and you don't need to stuff this so just um, as soon as you're done appliquing the piece you're done with this. So this is what it looks like all finished and you know, every stocking is unique. Not everyone is going to have the same stocking. Um, I noticed that this piece is a little, a little bit more crooked than what's displayed on the picture, but I think it adds a little bit of charm. <laughs> so that's the back end of the airplane. So our next step on the airplane will be the nose piece. So number 29, and I already went ahead and sequined all three pieces. This is piece 29, 30, and 31. And what you're going to do is you're going to cut them out and then applique them together and then we're going to applique those onto the nose. So here is the front nose of the plane completely done and this area was a little bit challenging so make sure that you line it up really good um, otherwise it'll pucker and I think I did an okay job with it not puckering. You just go make sure you go really slow so um, next we're going to do the propeller. So this is the propeller that will be going right here, number 32. And I already beaded and sequined and embroidered the propeller. In the instructions it tells you to use this piece as a template to cut out a piece of poster board. And the poster board will be going in between the front and back piece. And the back piece is just like that. So they're going to be sandwiched together. It's kind of awkward, but anyway. I will go ahead and um, put the propeller together and so you know what it looks like when it's finished. And then we will attach it to the plane. So here is the attached propeller. Um, let me tell you, trying to sew these, the front and the back piece to this propeller and put the poster board in the middle was definitely a challenge. So uh, make sure you're careful and um, Basically what I did was I started kind of on the top of one and I went down and I pinned the other side and then I went down up and down and as I and as I did the other side I kind of pushed in the poster board so that it would kind of fit in between the pieces and then I just appliqued as I went. It was a little bit tricky but I managed to do it and it looks really good. Um, the next piece is piece number 34, um, the propeller cap. And this actually sits right here, and that'll complete the front look of the airplane. So we're just going to attach that after this. And in the instructions it says to um, attach the propeller with a few stitches. So I did like two on each side, just to make sure it doesn't move around, and then the rest is free. So we're going to add this onto it, and then we'll work on the wheel. So here's the front of the plane propeller all done and now we're going to work on the wheel shaft and the wheel. Um, here are the pieces that are already sequined 
and beaded. We just need to cut them out and put them together. So here's the wheel hub. Um, you just need to applique, applique the front and the back pieces together and then sew it on um, with only a couple of stitches up here. And then we're going to add the wheel. Now I've already went ahead and sequined all the wheel pieces. Um, they are number 37, 38, and 39. So um, I'm going to cut them out and then I'm going to um, applique the pieces together and then we're going to add them to the stocking. So a lot of firsts in this stocking. This wheel in the instructions, um, it actually lists as it putting, you're putting it together backwards. Um, right here it says sequin and applique the hub cap 39 to the wheel 38 and then applique these pieces to the tire 37. So that's the first time I've ever seen it being backwards like that, like out of order. So this uh, stocking is throwing all these new things at me, which is kind of funny. Anyway, so this is the wheel finished, and if you um, take a look at the picture right here, it gives you an idea of um, how the wheel should be on the stocking. This part that doesn't have as much beading goes on this side. And then we're going to attach that with just a few stitches. And when you do that, it, it just makes it look like it's lifting um, off the stocking itself. So it kind of gives the illusion that it's kind of in the air and rotating, which is kind of cool. So we're just going to do a few stitches to at least stick it on the stocking so it doesn't go anywhere. So this is what we have so far on our stocking. And we're so close to finishing the airplane. Um, in my next tutorial, we'll be putting the wing on right here which involves more poster board. <laughs> so um, we're gonna do that and then we're gonna finish Santa. We're gonna put his arm on because he has another arm that goes right around here. And I'm really looking forward to finishing this top part. And then um, it's just cool to see my stocking unfold and it's nice to kind of go through every step with you. So if you enjoy following along, let me know in the comments. Um, please like and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate every viewer. Um, you guys are great. I appreciate all the comments. I love hearing from you guys. So give me a thumbs up if you like um, what you see. And um, I will see you guys next time. Bye.